Hey, what's up, guys? Avenge here. Welcome back. Um, yeah, to my Bloodborne Let's Play. Oh, almost blanked out there. So in the last episode, we went through basically the majority of the research hall. Uh, I showed you how to get the milkweed um, carol rune. It's like it's it's like the um, uh, covenant item, basically. Uh, like how I have my stamina regen one I got from Eileen the Crow. Anyway, so we got the balcony key while doing that quest. I will show it to you in the... I, ah, I think I showed it to you in the last video. So... What you want to do is come up here on the balcony, and if you notice, this is where we fought the living, not the, uh, I mean the um, celestial emissary. Now there's a chest, a bunch of enemies uh, that fire magic at you. So what you want to do is not not a chest, but like an uh, grab this and run, run. Oh fuck. Uh, 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 I died. <laughs> okay, we'll cut back to this room. Hey guys, we're back. Um, so, there's where I died. You just want to come back to this window and it breaks again. So, uh, wandering nightmare right here. Kill it before it runs away on you. There's another wandering nightmare where all those little guys are crawling around. Um, uh, I killed it. Uh, probably not going to show the footage, but there's another one over to your left. If So what you want to do is there's a chest right there. So, obviously, you want to go and jump. That was a bit delayed. That was weird. Over here. Pulsing damp blood jump. So you can jump back. I think you have to jump back down, yeah. So you have to come down here. Jump onto this. And jump back down. Okay. So let's go back up. So, um... I have to find the room that I missed, because it has a pretty important item. So I'm just going to cut it here, actually. And I will show you the room and uh, where it is as soon as I find it. I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay guys, I think I found it. So what you want to do is you want to come up the first uh, elevator down there on the first floor. Come up uh, to where you'll see like the dude with the cane right there. Jump down onto this platform and then run up here. So, because uh, we're looking for a key. I believe that's the item that we're looking for. So there might be, yep, this is a new idea. Kill him, grab this. Underground cell key, yes. Uh, I'm going to actually go there right now before we do any boss fights. So I'm going to cut to the underground cell and we're going to see what we get. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, so here we are in the underground cell area. And there are several doors that we are allowed to open. I believe there is an enemy in this one, so I'll open that one last. So, actually, hold on, you can check. So if you walk in... He's hiding around the, uh, the wall, so you can come open this. Shut up, dude. So he's a hunter that went crazy. So what you want to do is you just want to hit him. Shuts him up, and you get his hunter set. <laughs> so now, the last guy. I don't even know what the fuck that was. So you open this up. Like, oh, there's nothing in here. What's up? And you realize, oh, there's a guy right there. So, hey, look at that. I'm fucking cheesing him. Everything is going a okay for me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah. Hey, what's up? You got the church pick. It's like a scythe with a, uh, well, turns into like a little sword. Oh, look at that. He was really easy. He usually gives me a hard time. Church pick. Okay, so we're going to cut back to the boss doors. you pretty sure you saw what they look like. I'm just trying to save us a lot of time here because, uh, yeah. Anyway, so we are going to cut to the boss room. I shall see you guys again in a couple seconds. Alright guys, here we are. Uh, so what you want to do is, the first elevator that you take, 
that room where you get the uh, the you know, or the, or the brain food lady is. You just want to come up there, come outside. You'll see the uh, the the dude with the cane right there. Then you just come up those stairs there, and here's the boss arena. So that's the way you want to run it. So here we go. The living failures. Easily parryable. Or some of them anyway. There's like four or five of them that you fight at a time. One like some do magic, some do fucking other shit. <laughs> Dead. And, and and they respawn as well, so just letting you know. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Kinda wanna stay out of the range of the fucking and that magic user. Oh shit. What the hell are you doing? What are you fucking? Oh shit! No! Yeah, you just gotta keep an eye on them as you're fighting them. Lots of shit going on here. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, no, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Ah. So two of them do magic, two melee it looks like. Oh fuck, no. Oh really? You had to fucking do that as soon as I go for the fucking What's up, friend? Ah, oh, shit. I missed. I messed up. Really? Ah. Ah, fuck. Okay. okay, when they do this, you want to get behind the fucking tree. Blood bars. I should be able to do this. Ah, oh, shit. That's a little baby. Yeah, if I can... fucking sneaky. Ah, fuck. I'm not gonna lose to these guys. I don't know if still lose these guys. Let's just, uh... What? What? What will this do? Yeah, I did it. No, I didn't. What? Fuck this. I'm not letting you do your fucking little thing. So with the amount of cutting that I had to do, I'm going to activate this bonfire or this lamppost and then I'm going to go 
restock my blood vials and my uh, bullets, and we shall see you back in another couple of seconds. Hey guys, we're back. So, I went and bought a bunch of blood vials just because I think I'm okay. I I'm comfortable with my level right now. Maybe I should level up one more just to get it even 100. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to open up this door here. Open door with Astral Clock Tower Key. What a spacious area. And a dead person. Inspect corpse. A corpse should be left well alone. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite boss fight in the entire game. Uh, if you recognize her voice, she is actually the inspiration that Garman had to you for the doll in the nightmare. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm not really paying attention here. Oh, I gotta... Here we go. Obviously, she's a hunter, so you can parry her. I'm kind of messing up right now. I don't want to use a lot of my my, uh, my my vials in this fight, in this part of the fight. She's using my second favorite weapon in this game. It's called the Rakuyo. It's for it's like the I believe it's the best skill based uh, weapon. This is my favorite fight in the game, by far. Get away from her because she's going to release some blood. Yeah, that's gonna, that does damage. Now, now she uses... Uh, she uses uh, blood to enhance her, uh, her, we her weapons, so she does more damage now. Oh, shit. I actually timed that right. Oh, fuck. And it also gives you a, a, a lot of reach for, uh... And if you fuck up a uh, fucking... Oh, shit! I, I gotta heal. My goodness. Okay. Was I in invincibility frames while shooting? Oh fuck, I gotta fucking stop that shit. I'm getting too ha parry happy here. Fuck, as I say that, like, the first thing I do is... Oh, I gotta get away from her. Now she's going to be adding fire to her abilities, so she packs a hell of a punch now. Holy shit, I can't dodge for shit right now. Okay. Get out of here. I'm staying at full health just to be safe. Oh, fuck me. Look at the range of that fucking move. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm 
I'm getting a bit too uh, cautious now. Okay. Sorry, Maria. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. No way. No way you're gonna fucking do this to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. That was fucking close. Woo. Wow. I gotta be cocky at the end there. Oh boy. Okay. So, I'm gonna come and grab the celestial dial. Turn on the lamppost, of course. And, I want to hold up the celestial dial. You guys got a double boss episode. And I first tried both of them. Awesome. Lita Maria is by far my best, my most favorite fight in this game. And I think that she, uh, nothing bad to say about her. It's just a perfect fucking fight between two, uh, skilled hunters. And here we are at... Uh, where's the thing? I feel stupid. We're at the, at the fishing hamlet. Whatever, buddy. Fishing hamlet. The final area in the game. So, or in the game, in the DLC. So. We got we have one more boss to do, and this I fought, the difficulty spike in this area is pretty hard. So uh, uh, we're gonna have a fun here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the double boss episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.